Alexander and I have watched this. Not sure about CJ, you haven't, no. but it's about the Netflix documentary which my brother made me watch called Three Identical Strangers. Yes. The B side word. It was good. Yes. You gave me a little <laughs> bit of a insight, but I just, I, yeah, just, and crazy. just for the listeners CJ, have you out here, it? just just for listeners out here, I recommended this term about a year ago. No. Yeah. I thought like last week. No, it was about a year ago. It was I about remember. A year ago. I remember. Yeah. Wait, is it an old one? It's an old one. Oh, it's just popped up on Netflix again recently, though. So when you brought it up, I was like, oh yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that like pop up on my popular or trending now or whatever it is. Mm. Um, but I find. So did you watch it a year ago? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I've only <laughs> just watched it this week. Um, and I was like, OMG. So basically, and you can fill me in. If I've missed anything. A bit of Craig David. Yeah. Uh, spoiler um, alert. Spoiler alert. But, but only for seven days. Spoiler <laughs> alert. In case you want to watch it, turn off now. But then come back to us later. Um, okay. So, <laughs> um, this one guy is 19 and he goes to a community college and then gets there. And everyone, when he gets there, <laughs> is like greeting him in the most friendliest fashion. So they're like all going up to him like, hey, hey, you're back, blah, blah, blah. Well, at first they were just like, hey, how are you? Girls were kissing him. <laughs> like guys were high-fiving him. Someone picked him up and like, you know, bear hugged. And then someone's really like, fun. oh, yeah, you're back. You're back this year. Nice to see you, Eddie. And he's like, Eddie? Anyway, so he goes to his dorm room. And then not, not long after he's got into his dorm room, this guy comes to his door. And, and he turns around and the guy's like, looks like he's seeing a ghost. So the guy was like, I knew it was, it was like, it was Eddie, but it wasn't. And he said to him, <laughs> and he yeah. said to him, were you adopted? And the guy said, yeah, I was. And then he goes, which, which agency was it? Was it, did he say which agency was it? And then, the, no, he goes, what's your birthday? And the guy told him his birthday. <laughs> was it the same place the short girl came he from? He goes, what's your date of birth? And the guy told him his date of birth. And he goes, you're never going to believe this, but I think you have a twin. Yeah. Okay. So he, the, the guy that was at the door, he calls his mate, Eddie. And he goes, Eddie. Oh, no, they, they leg it to like a phone box. Can, can I just say, the, you know, when you're oh, saying well. Eddie, I can only think of um, Eddie Murphy going, fuck you, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I hear. Every what? single time. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, keep going. So they call Eddie. In the middle of the night, they basically drive to his house. Um, and they get there and oh. these two... Identical. Tw identical twins realise they're, they're their brothers. Yeah. They didn't live far from each other, mind you. So this gets picked up by... Um, Newspaper. New, New York Post. Mm. And published... And it's there on the, you know, brothers separated at birth, finally meet 19 years later. Switch to another parallel. This other guy goes to school and his mate goes, I forgot which one this is by now. There's Bobby, there's Eddie, Eddie and there's, Whitney. And there's <laughs> Bobby, Eddie, there's Bell, Biv, DeVoe. and someone else. So let's just say it's Bobby. They're like, Bobby, look at this. And Bobby looks at it and he's like, I think you're the third. I think you're. I think you're the third brother. Yeah, yeah. Because he looks alike. Yeah. So he races home to his mum and he goes, "Mum, look at this." At the same time, his the mum has the newspaper and she's like, "Look at this." <laughs> right. Turns so out there's there four were, of them now. No, three. <laughs> there were oh, there were triplets separated at birth. <sighs> yeah. So now, like, the story becomes massive. It starts going all over. You know, morning shows all over in the news in America. They get brought on all these TV programs. Blah blah blah. blah. The boys are happy because they're like, oh, my God, I've got brothers I never knew yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. The parents were angry and they were like, what the hell? Why were we never told about this? Mm. And they also, just to get in there, they, yeah. just because I remember this, they um, they noticed a lot of similarities between all of them as well, even though they hadn't yeah. grown up around each other. Yeah. Yeah, um, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's just important for some later. of the similarities were like um, the same cigarettes they smoked, the same um, gestures, obviously, um, same taste in music, same taste in girls. They both they all did wrestling, um, just all these little mm, things, right? Mm. Um, so anyway, the parents were absolutely furious because yeah. they were like they could have known about each other, and you've deprived them of this. Why? They went, they went to the actual agency and they, and they asked the agency and the agency said, well, it's hard to place three kids in one home. That's right. why we didn't do it. Right, right, right. So they leave. 
not satisfied, but they leave. But one of them, one of the dads forgets his umbrella. So he goes back and he sees them like opening a bottle of champagne and being like, oh, we've just got to wait. Like we've, we, that was close. Like that was a close one, close call type thing. The way that they looked at each other. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's such an, it's such an idiot, right? <laughs> so they don't wait. They don't look outside the window and see if they've <laughs> driven off. <laughs> They wait. They just wait until they go into the hallway. Go get the champagne out. Get the champagne out. Because yeah, because because when the parents went anyone. outside, it was raining, and that's what tipped the guy off to go. Oh, my umbrella! So he, he went back in for his umbrella. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he thought that was really like odd. Anyway, after more digging, yeah, yeah. yeah. After more digging, um, they found out. Well, actually, it was this psychologist that was interested in twins and blah blah blah. Long story short, they found out this agency was separating twins at birth. And triplets. And triplets. And this went on for two decades. Which is 20 years. It went from the ni- 1961 <laughs> to eight to 1980 or something like that, yeah. which was about, they only stopped about the time that the boys met each uh, other. That's quick math, but that's 19. Yes. <laughs> um, and the reason they were doing it is because they wanted to measure... Yeah. The difference between nature and nurture, right? In how a child grows, grows up. Yeah. So what they did is they placed one child in, with a rich family, mm-hmm. one child in a middle income family. Yeah. Dad was a teacher, and another child in a blue collar family. And they yeah. wanted to see will these kids that grow up to to still you know will they be alike or not? Will they reach their full? They potential? wanted to answer that final question: yeah. Is it nature or is it nurture? Yeah. But obviously, this is a this is an awful way to do it because they've deprived these the bond. boys the bond. of their entire yeah. childhood, but they've also deprived, yeah, they did it to loads of other twins as well. The, the, the kids didn't know about each other, so they really didn't deprive them of something they so didn't know about. So actually, this is where it gets interesting because all the kids had mental health issues. Um, and like, for instance, as to- babies, because imagine you're with, you're with your, if you're a twin or a triplet, you're next to your your counterparts, you're next There's to your siblings sense. in the car, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, they're taken away. Yeah. When they're all babies, they all used to bang their heads against the cot. They used to hold their breath till they faint. Like they had these sort of really issues. Wow. And then oh, wow. Um, wow. They, these just mental health issues got worse. The story gets more dark because apparently a lot of these twins that they did it to, all the parents... The uh, natural birth parents had mental health issues themselves. So the question now became, well, was that lead psychologist who had spent his life career studying mental health issues doing this to study mental health issues in adopted children? Right. right, right, right. So there was, Do you know what I mean? There was there's a couple of... <clears throat> um, they also did the sisters. Yeah. So they placed... Each of them all had an older sister about the same age older. She, were they also adopted as well, the sisters? Okay, so also each boy all had adopted sisters who were two years older than them. And the adopted sisters had come from the same agency. So they picked the parents beforehand, before the parents even, like they knew these parents, they had a list of parents, they knew they wanted to adopt, but they handpicked the ones that they wanted to place the boys in. So it was all like premedicated. Yeah. And they said they wanted to sort of study the parents as well, but because they did, if I I might have got this confused with something else, but did they, they were like interviewing them while they were growing up as well, weren't they? But like yeah. more so as just a like an adoption basis. agency interview, but really it was part of the study that they were conducting. Right. Yeah. Um, parents didn't know, and one of the brothers, as part of this whole uh, like the mental health side, one of the brothers actually did commit suicide, didn't they? Yeah. So, so this was years after they got to know each other, but he had such severe mental health issues that he did commit suicide. Wow, wow. Because um, it's the way the way it's sort of posed, and the reason I brought up earlier that they were really similar and stuff is because the whole discovery of them finding each other and everything is them real like going. It's kind of that first stage of dating where you find all your commonalities and everything, and then they started to realize how different they were as people, but how troubled they were as people. Um, mm. and that's like how it's the way they tell the story in, in that documentary or yeah. whatever you want to call it but um, it it's re- it, it, to me it was so fascinating the fact they got away with this as a study that they were doing so they said it was long. a study 
but they never released the findings of the study, which yeah. any study you usually do the study and then you release your findings. They never release the findings to the point where the, the lead psychologist died and as part of his death wish he locked those that's the study research away until 2066 like so no one probably because they didn't no want one to had it. access to the, to the results of this study uh, so it was all for nothing basically is mm. what they're saying um but since netflix since the tv program has aired they have now released the study to the participants have or they? to some of the participants yeah they were court ordered to release the to wow. yeah. I wonder what's in there. Yeah, so like like the, like their parents had mental health issues. What does that does that mean? Mental health issues are passed down genetically. Yeah, they are. Yeah, hundred percent. That's already been confirmed. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. And anxiety is hereditary. Yeah. So if you have anxiety and um, the parents have it, then likelihood is the child will have some form of anxiety or may have some form of anxiety. So mental issues can be passed on genetically. So just not not, not just um, just one generation and it skips. And no, I like skip. you're you're predisposed to it. I I guess, but there is a link. Yes, between genetic genetics and anxiety. Will it be? Do I? I'm just asking because it sounds like you know on this stuff. Um, is it is it a recessive gene? Do you know like mental health issues? Like are they? If you have someone who doesn't, someone who does, and the chance are the child won't. Oh. I think there just is that predisposition. So if one parent has anxiety, again, you you might find that the child has anxiety. But, so sorry, it could I, still pass down to you. I'm going on a bit more uh, like the genetics. So do you remember doing like eye color in school? And it's like blue yeah. and brown. And if you have a parent with brown and a parent with blue, then you've got a 75% chance you have brown rather than blue. Because uh, blue's I don't know percentage wise. Versus dominant. So I'm just wondering yeah, if it typically the way biology works is traits that are detrimental to health, whether mental or physical, are recessive because humans, all animals, all beings are designed to keep the stronger things and get rid of the weaker things. That's why we survive. So I'm just wondering if they're... Like, I'd, I'm just intrigued. They're recessive. Um, so... Most researchers conclude anxiety is genetic, but can also be influenced by environmental factors. In other words, possible to have anxiety without it running in your family. Um, there is a lot about the link between genes and anxiety that we don't understand. More research is needed, but generalized anxiety disorder is... Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I'm going through different. That's different, a shit study. Different article. No, I switched articles halfway through. Yeah. Um, let's give me one sec. You're more likely to develop anxiety order if you've had traumatic life experiences, you have physical conditions, blah, 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 or your biological relatives have anxiety disorders or other mental health illnesses. Um, there is decades of research has explored the hereditary connections noted that certain chromosomal characters characteristics are linked to phobias and panic disorder um, da -da -da. I can only find one link that actually addresses the specific of recessive versus dominant but it's a YouTube video so I can't watch it right now <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's, it it's, I think they've concluded that there it's genetic no, like it's not, I'm, I'm not questioning the genetic part. I That's, don't know about the recessive yeah. part. Not sure. Hmm. Oh, wait. Anxiety trait a complex trait is characteristic that is, known, that is not known to be either dominant or recessive. Oh, that's interesting. Like, for, for all three triplets to have the same mental, uh, mental issues, would they be growing up in different environments? That's actually quite interesting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's so much. It's the wrong thing. So to do. much about them. It's the wrong thing to do, but very interesting. Yeah, so much yeah. about their situation, like even the similarities that Emma was pointing out and stuff. Like that to me, like uh, my head goes to like for example the cigarettes. They smoke the cig same cigarettes. Is that because they grew up in the same area and that was just like the more popular brand? And that's what a lot of kids smoked. Mm -hmm. Or is that because there was an affinity to it because their taste buds are lined up in a certain way and that's their preferred? Mm. Like it's uh, so many. I love it. I love that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Yeah. And the wrestling, like they all did wrestling. 
It was just such a fascinating um, doco, wasn't it? And yeah, I think the thing that really intrigued me as well was the fact that it was this massive news story in New York and I'd never heard of it. <laughs> Cause like when you watch it, they show how big this was of a news story. But like Yeah, but this was back in the eighties before you were born. I don't I mean in terms of like there's like if you ask our parents or something, they'd never heard of it. Like it wasn't yeah. if you think about how news is so global now. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Like that, yeah, it was that probably just a localized a huge, national yeah. thing. Like yeah. It, it was huge in New York, but only in New York. <laughs> That's such a strange yeah. thing to wrap my head around yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I know. <sighs> but there you go. There you go. They felt like lab rats, unfortunately, after discovering did they, it. Did they sue? Um, Did they sue? Don't know. Don't remember. I think they just wanted to find out the results because that's what in, what what they are they hanging out now? Are they a family now? One of them has passed away. Yeah. Um. The other two, they all kind of ended up. They went into business together, and then they started arguing. One of them left left the business. Oh. Um. I think they're like they'd still have each other's backs, but I don't know how close they are. Hmm. It was even. I tell you what. It was interesting to listen to their wives as well, because they're like the way their wives talked about them was almost like they were talking about the same person, right? Um, in this, yeah. in the sense of like, like yes, they different, like you, they differentiate between them when they're talking about them and stuff. But like when you talk about the highs and the lows, it's if you took away the names, you wouldn't necessarily know which one they're talking about. Yeah. Mm. Right. That's it. I can't they Give it a watch. Did that to someone, to a family. Give it a watch. That's our. Um, what did we do this on Tiger King? Now this is uh, three identical strangers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my recommendation. Totally is different strong. topic. No, I, 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 I probably won't watch this one because Tiger King was funny. This doesn't seem very funny. No, it's not funny. It's not like Ta- it's Tiger King. Was, was Tiger King funny? <laughs> that was just crazy. Yeah. Fa- I just found it funny because it was that crazy and far fetched. I couldn't believe there's human beings like that that actually wait, exist. You I can't wait it. for the movie to come out. You, huh? I need. Can we. Who's our sound guy? Sat Gary, go bring us back the clip from when we talked about Tiger King. I swear you said you'd never watch it. Yeah, he did, but <laughs> yeah, he watched he it ages ago. I you mustn't have been here, but he watched it. I watched it. What? You were, <laughs> you were giving us so much shit when we were talking about that. But then he left and he was like, that sounds intriguing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that. People at work started talking about it because we're, we're all working from home. And a number of us have just gone, let's just watch the bloody thing. So like, because um, they're bugging us about it. So we, we sat down and watched it because they're just giving us sh- yeah. shit about it. And then I... I watched it in basically two days. <laughs> he just that's, back to back. That's Alexander, how I watched you said the Office US thing. was because when I was in, uh, when I worked in an office, that's what everyone talked about. I was like, I need to get in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Rachel, where she has to um, like fake that she's a smoker so she can like hang out with <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from friends. Do you remember that episode? <laughs> yeah, so that's why I actually watched it. But like, yeah. But the, after the second episode, I was cool. Yeah. <laughs> but you reminded me, because this week, me and dad, oh, I said, so first of all, my dad, I guess, said to my brother, watch Snowpiercer on Netflix. And then I said to my brother, watch Snowpiercer. And he's like, so first of all, I think one person said it and he was like, oh, hmm, it might be good. And then we both said it. And he was like, oh, definitely not. Because he was like, <laughs> if both my sister and my parents are telling me, then it's probably not something I want. But then his mate, his best mate told him, he's like, all right, I'll watch it. <laughs> and he said he has this like criteria. If it's just us that tell him, he's like, eh, if I know, like- I know that if my parents and my <laughs> sister enjoy it, the things that they enjoy are not things I enjoy. So that's, that's, <laughs> there are things that I enjoy that's that Emma enjoys and there are things that I enjoy that my parents enjoy, but the things that they enjoy, yeah. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> so did you watch No Peace? I did, only because my friend recommended it to me. <laughs> Yeah, and it was. Did you did you enjoy it? I did. I binge watched five episodes, but I haven't gone back to it. Though. So, so I get. Oh. So I get. I, I guess there's something that your parents and your sister enjoyed that you. Yeah, enjoyed. but it, it was bigger. Yay. It's bigger than. It's bigger than that. It's everyone. It's bigger than it. them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Snowpiercer. It's good. 
watch it. I yeah, I I binge watched five episodes. That's how much I enjoyed it. I've seen the yeah. I've seen the movie. What what movie? Yeah, there is there is because that's what I was confused about because I've seen the Snowpiercer movie cover, and that's what yeah. I thought everyone was referring to at first. There's the movie Snowpiercer. The TV show was based on the movie. Really? Yes, I've seen the I've seen the movie. So I'm not sure, that's why I haven't really it's watched it. 2013. Oh no, watch watch the TV series. It's probably much better. So it's basically from the, this is the that's movie. A big statement. <laughs> <laughs> right? there's, there's not many there's not many TV adaptations of shows that are better. Oh. Yeah, like like the movie's basically based on like um, people in society. You got the poor, no, middle class, same, yeah. and same, filthy rich. Same thing, right? yeah. And your position on the train is your yeah. class. Yeah. And the poor start going through to take yeah. over. Yeah. I've seen. I've seen it. I've seen the movie. I don't need to watch the TV show. Oh. Yeah, you are. It is set in stone. I'm tre- yes. intrigued about the Not, movie. Yeah. I quite <laughs> want to watch stone. the movie now. But no. But to be fair, though, that's quite a. Like that story, I don't know if you can tell it a different way in a TV show. Uh, you, like, can always, play, you can yeah. always tell stories a different way. I mean, look at Superman, look at Batman. They're no, all told know, differently. It's, it's yeah, it's a, a very narrow storyline of being on yeah. a train. With a, like, how many like, different ways can I've, the poor take over the rich tr- on a train? Because because the the actual um, how society is now compared to what it was 10 years ago is totally different. So, like... It's a- economic classes. If, if you're a certain class, you're in a certain position on the train. Yeah, but the, the, even, the I, thinking behind like, I guess, the thinking even behind that is different. I well. guess the difference... I get, I get what you're saying, Dev, and there's definitely value to that. I guess the difference, like, if you say Superman, for example, is you can tell Superman in any way you want. Like, there's so much yeah, room for maneuver, yeah. but when you're talking about social and economic class in a train where the poor take over the rich, there's only so many different ways that can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, on but, the on the snow piece of film, how many trains were there? One. No, it's different. No then. carriages. No, no. How many tra- How Carriage- many trains were there? Multiple carriages. No, no. How many trains were there? Well, you just, well, this, you just this spoiled to- this for me. No, I I said this has got uh, this, is, <laughs> this is different. <laughs> no, it was one. It was one big train with different carriages for different classes. Yeah, it's different, mate. And um. What was it again? Like who? Who's the train driver again? What was his name? Wilford. Yeah, he's like treated like a god. Like the Wilford does this. And the, Don't say like much classes. else because my brother's only watched five episodes. Yeah, like no. there's, a, there's a twist. There's a twist. Don't enough. You're giving it away. It is so good. I haven't seen the TV just show. Because so we're on it's, dystopian. It's so good. Just because we're on dystopian worlds of stuff. Um, you know, Hunger Games. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Donald Trump is replicating Hunger Games very much. So may the odds ever be in your favor. <laughs> just letting people. <laughs> has Has anyone watched The Mandalorian? No. No, that's where Baby Yoda come from, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've never watched it. Okay, I'm I'm the only one. I, we, that's just... uh, well, Siege, guys, bad dad, bad yeah. dad film just, review. W- can, can, uh, I, yeah. can I just? Yeah, CJ. Can, hold CJ. on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. go. Hey guys, I just want to put I, I just want to put a quick re- recommendation out there. This week I stumbled across a uh, the Bad Dad Films Review, uh, another podcast. Um, yeah. A great group of guys. Yeah. I actually met them through Twitter. So if you're yeah. into films and you like to hear people's different opinions and perspectives on on the storylines and and the intricacies and the details and just new nuanced opinions, it's 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 a great bit of entertainment, light-hearted, much like us, you know, good group dynamic. So that's my recommendation. I, Alexander, I saw when he was talking, he sounded. Um, he said a word that sounded like it had a Vietnamese accent. What? I, I, straight away when he was talking, I said. Which word? He said no. <laughs> he said, Wait, like, what? I said, hey, he's, he's put a Vietnamese accent on. What? I did not Is one hear of the guys that. In that show Vietnamese? You know what? I'm gonna. CJ, I'm gonna... you just said Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> I know I just said that. <laughs> oh. Can I? I thought I thought it went past. As long as no, it's not man, a Rask Mally, we're all good. Us, yeah. <laughs> Rask Mally. Can can I can I tell you? Um, wh- oh. Wait, one thing. Okay. Eddie Murphy, delirious. 
That's crazy. I like I've watched it a, a thousand times, but I just watched it yesterday. And the shit he says on there, <laughs> you can't say that anymore, right? It's like the, all of that shit. You know what it'd be like, right? So he'd start it. He goes, "Hi, I'm Eddie." Beep. <laughs> the whole thing would have to be beeped out because he can't say any of it. Everyone's too sensitive now. Hey, who are you, Kanye? You're reading <laughs> Kanye's bloody lyrics. Too sensitive. Anyways. No, he's talking about Kanye, himself being Kanye's too, Kanye's too that sensitive. That lyric was about himself. What's the lyric? How does that go? Uh, uh, I almost uh, aborted my daughter. He says, oh. um, he, he's lost his who? mind. No, but he actually has. That's Kanye. like literally. He, yeah, he's got bipolar. Make, you can't make fun of that, Sage. But his poor bugger's lost his mind. <laughs> I like how you changed it. Yeah, oh, you're like... The, <laughs> no, the poor bugger. He's lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, air but, quotes. Uh, air quotes. <laughs> oh, poor bugger. <laughs> but, but, but if you went on medication... Do you think he would lose his creative sense? Yes. That's yes. why he doesn't want to take it. Yes. That's why he doesn't 100%. always take it. So I, I had this discussion with them. So it's I, kind of like... um Yeah. I... We fell a little bit of different sides on this. I don't know if we actually did, to be fair. But my thing with the whole Kanye thing isn't about whether you can force him to take meds or anything like that. My problem was the fact that people were enabling him. Mm. Because to me, there's there's a difference between saying, all right, stop, like, control that person and just don't give them access to certain things. Like, don't allow them to run for president. Like, you have to... That takes a group I of people. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I definitely get what you're saying, but with a character like Kanye, who especially if we're with bipolar, when you're and and it, Russell Brand said this as well when I was talking about Kanye, like when he's on his high, he firmly believes that he can be president. Like that's an like he it's he literally believes it. So I'm, if I'm you not, try I don't and deny that, not though. give him access. He's a billionaire, so right. he's just going to get... Someone's right. going to give him access, no, so he's going to no, do it anyway. There's a, massively diff- there's a massively big difference between a billionaire self-funding everything they're doing to be a president versus people giving them platforms, people giving them stages <laughs> to stalk on, people, yeah, I see what he's people saying. being advisors, people but being their vice president. Pe- like, yeah, but what I'm saying is for a billionaire, there's it. always going to be someone to be like, yeah, I'll do that for you. Even if like... like no, but they're all rich people like You themselves. could pay anyone to do anything. Like, they're not poor. They're all rich themselves. Elon Musk is richer than him, but will be his oh, senior Elon, advisor. Yeah. Like, yes, <laughs> this is true. But, but in, in, in Kanye's defense, he can't do a worse job than the current he definitely guy. can. <laughs> definitely can. <laughs> when asked about the policy, he said, I, oh, I haven't I, really I, looked into that yet. <laughs> like, I, I, I hate Trump. I haven't really Trump, researched that, but when but I do... But he is definitely not the worst world leader this place has ever seen. Who's ben worse? Ben Trump? Hitler. <laughs> How? Hitler. Yeah, like, we don't even have to go back that far. <laughs> Putin. How about every How about every Putin. leader that killed their way to being a leader, which is the majority of yeah. history? Yeah. <laughs> no, I... No, I, I, yeah. yeah. But, um, I, poor Kanye, I actually feel for him. You know when you told me about... um when someone asked him about his policies and he said, I haven't thought that uh, thought about it that far. There was a guy running locally for Toon Gabby <laughs> and someone, someone asked him, he goes, sir, what, uh, what does your party stand for? And literally what he did, he sort of looked at the pamphlets he was giving out and then he looked left, he looked right, Chucked the pamphlet and, and he, he ran. Said person, <laughs> woman, <laughs> man, and he ran. What? He, he looked left, right. He's like, oh yeah. Like a um, and he's about to talk into the microphone. <laughs> Chucked the pamphlet Wait, is and local? ran. He ran. He's like, like, I'm out of here. Is this on video? That's like, no, dude, it was on the news. This is a long oh, time ago. This is this like our next so town ago. over. That's a, it was I like, that. an... that's brilliant. That's proper cartoon. <laughs> Just like, what do you stand for? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> oh. oh, but isn't Britney Spears also suffering from mental health issues? Oh, that's yeah, a long people. time. A have you seen? People, do you watch Black? Have you? Do you watch Black Mirror, CJ? No. There's a Black Mirror episode with Miley Cyrus playing the main character, where it's really? wide, widely believed. Have you not seen it, Dev? 
No. So that's one of the... They released, I think, two new ones, like, randomly at some point. Um, that yeah. episode is highly believed to be the telling of Britney Spears' actual life. Like, what's actually oh, going on man. there. man. Because she's, oh my God. She, she's been under... Uh, I forgot what they call it, but, like, basically her... her I think it's her stepdad and someone else have been in charge of her life. And when I say yeah. that, I mean literally yeah. every part of her life since for over a decade. Like, they've had control. Don't tell me. I, I want to watch that episode. Oh, I've not told you about the episode. Watch it. It's really interesting. So, so, she's, so she's basically a prisoner. Th- that's, and that, a lot of people are saying this, but then the defense of what they're saying is you don't know what's going on and we're not just going to go out and tell you exactly what's going on. Like, it's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your business yeah. to know this stuff. So it's, it's a really... It's a weird balancing yeah. act of what's really going on. Because obviously she did actually have that fallout. When was it? Like 2008 or something? Yeah. So it's it's a, it's a finicky thing. Yeah, because I've, I've seen her recently on the news just dancing yeah. on, on the screen saying, yeah, and I was like, Britney Spears. Watch, watch that Black Mirror episode and you'll get an, a sense of what people believe is happening to her. Like, oh, you'll, you'll understand. All right. Yeah. We're done?